Hello guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well and having yourselves a good day. I thought I'd bring you guys along for just a few days in my life. It's Monday today, so we've just gotten done, gotten done. <laughs> great English. We just got done grocery shopping as always. That's like our go-to Monday activity. Typically we'll go on a Monday night just because I feel like Monday is already kind of a write-off. It's the beginning of the work week. If you work, <laughs> I just lost my job. So I'm feeling sensitive about anything like work related. <laughs> I keep making jokes about it, but I feel like that's just my way of coping. Yeah, my first week of unemployment, first official week. I found out I lost my job on Tuesday and I actually just posted my video kind of explaining everything um like half an hour ago my phone just died so i have no idea what's got like i haven't even read the comments i'm kind of scared to be honest bit of a curveball i guess you could say definitely did not see it coming if you guys didn't watch that video i'll have a link down below or i'll have it on the screen somewhere but um yeah lost my job but i'm doing okay i have had like a whole week to kind of process everything before i talked about it and i'm really glad that i did i've had time to talk about it with my friends and my family and Honestly, there's been a lot of things over the last week that have just been, I guess, reassurance that this is not necessarily a bad thing, if you know what I mean. So I'm honestly doing okay. I am just ready for Christmas and the festivities and then to start fresh with a new year, 2023. Bring it on. Um, and if this is the first video of mine that you're watching, I am so sorry. <laughs> You've come at a great time. My name is Ella. I am 26. I live in Adelaide, South Australia. I do a lot of vlogs, lifestyle content, as well as budgeting and money related videos. So if any of that takes your fancy, feel free to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. It really helps my channel out and I really, really appreciate it. Um, but anyway, I thought I would do a little grocery haul for you guys because we just got done grocery shopping. I'm gonna try and get this short seat. Kind of random. I'm trying to think what we're cooking this week. So this makes sense. Tonight we're having falafel. So flatbread with little falafel bites. Tomorrow we're having chicken burgers. We just buy them in bulk from Audi and then freeze them. It's like $10 for, I don't even know how many. What? How many are there? At last year, last year. Um, I actually don't know. Oh, jumbo pack, 24 burgers. 24 patties. Are you kidding me? Wednesday, we're having pork stir fry because I also have some frozen pork mints in the fridge. We bought a couple packs when it was on sale and then froze the leftovers. I'll have the recipe for that link down below. And then what else do we have? Thursday. Honestly, couldn't tell you. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> we have like a bunch of frozen leftovers as well from dinners, like chickpea curry. And then Friday we're out and then Saturday we'll probably make like a pasta or something. But I'm gonna lie on, it's getting kind of dick. Okay, we have some lettuce. I got some triple smoked ham for like sandwich vibes. I don't know, thought it would be kind of fun for a change. Got some strawberries, a few of my protein yogurts. I love these ones from Audi, the, the salted caramel ones. So good. And then I got a strawberry one as well in here somewhere. Perhaps, not sure. Got a tub of Greek yogurt, light milk, two packs of mixed berries, some peas and some chippies for our chicken bones. We went to Woolies as well. We usually, like most of our shopping, we do at Audi or Aldi. I say Aldi, you say Audi, but I have tried to assimilate because everyone makes fun of me when I say Aldi. <laughs> Aldi, Audi, tomato, tomato, potato, potato. Yeah, most of our shopping we do at Aldi, but Sometimes they're out of stuff or they don't have the exact thing that we're looking for. There's some things that we prefer like name brand, like Heinz ketchup, that kind of thing. So we usually end up having to go to Woolies or Coles on the way out. So got some stir fry mix. They didn't have falafel. So we got that from Woolies. Got some roti and some egg noodles. And my stir fry. My favorite chocolate, the caramel chocolate from Aldi. So good. Got a bunch of bananas because we, this is like, all we eat <laughs> in terms of fruit. Bananas, frozen berries, and strawberries are like our go-to. And apples actually, to be fair. Yeah, we're diverse. Speaking of apples, got a bunch of pink lady. Oh, there's my other yogurt, my strawberry protein yogurt. Some hummus, garlic, and a couple of avocados. If you've been watching for a while, you guys know that Nick has a sick obsession with the brown rice and quinoa packs, the little purple ones. He has them for work like nearly every single day mixed in with tuna. It sounds like the most disgusting dry thing ever, but he loves it. Love that for him. Um, but he tried these last week and he said they were really good. So he got a couple of these, the Ocean Rise Yellowfin tuna ready meals. This one is Sicilian pasta. And then these two are brown rice 
and quinoa, which is literally what he makes anyway. Um, but it just looks a little bit more moist, you know? So those are for work. Got some soy milk, a couple more cans of tuna. I like having tuna sandwiches or we make tuna pasta. Got some honey for my Greek yogurt. Couple of kins, kins? Tins of diced tomatoes for said pasta. A big can of tuna for said pasta. Some macaroni and cheese. The pasta for the pasta. Um, lavender scent, I don't know why I chose lavender. I'm not gonna judge. Hospital grade lavender fragrance. It's air freshener for the bathroom. <laughs> I don't know why I feel so uncomfortable saying that. Not for me, obviously I'm a lady. And then, of course we have to go to espresso. I had a click and collect order. If you guys watched my Instagram reel, I did a what I spend in a weekend, which was actually so fun. I think I might post it on TikTok as well. You guys know me, I'm trying to break into the TikTok world, it really scares me. But yeah, I placed a click and collect order, so we went and picked that up while we were food shopping, and I've chucked some of the groceries in here. So we have a lot of bread this week, a loaf of bread, just light rye, burger buns. We usually use a couple of these for our dinner and then freeze the rest. And then our Lebanese flatbread for our falafel wraps. Here's a little look at what I got from Nespresso. I got some of the new peppermint pinwheel Pods. I don't know if they had these last year. If they did, I didn't get them, but I've heard really, really good things. So I wanted to try them for myself. They were sold out online, but I saw them when we went in to collect our order. And I was like, I'll take one of those. Also got a couple of the Bianco Doppio. We got two sleeves of those. I think this is another holiday one as well. Wow, look how pretty the packaging is. The Infam, I'm not even gonna try and say that. Infam, why am I struggling so much? Double espresso pods in this pretty packaging. And then, this is really what I wanted because they were having 15% off for Black Friday. Ta -da! My Nespresso advent calendar. I'm so excited. This is like the best thing last Christmas. Oh, you guys don't even know. The Booster Serotonin and I got every morning when I unboxed one of these it was elite. So you guys will definitely be seeing me use that in the month of December. Um, but yeah, that's my grocery haul. I'm gonna put all of this stuff away now. Nick's just gone to the gym. I'm gonna have dinner probably by myself because I'm actually starving. And then I have a bunch of editing that I need to do, some content planning. I have a lot of stuff I need to get done this week. So it's gonna be a busy old week. I thought, you know, first week of unemployment, I can just like do nothing and feel sorry for myself. But I have actually so much social media work to do, which is a good thing. Like I feel so lucky. But it's actually overwhelming. I honestly don't know how I would have done, I wouldn't have done this if I had a full-time job, but there's just been so many cool opportunities that have popped up over the last few weeks. is a winding road no telling where it goes driving through days and nights won't stop for traffic lights and i i really want to know really want to know if i Falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down dramatic but that might be the best iced coffee I've ever made good morning you guys it's now the next day happy Tuesday just ice rolling my face I made myself an iced coffee I actually haven't tasted it. I said it was the best iced coffee I've ever made but haven't actually tasted it oh that is good those sugar-free vanilla drops from my protein are 
incredible. But yeah, good morning. It is 10.30. <laughs> Not sure how that's happened. I've just spent most of this morning in bed replying to your comments and messages. I just posted last night my um, video talking about losing my job and I am blown away, you guys. I've just woken up feeling like overwhelmed. The video has already like 10,000 views, over 120 comments. I'm just like absolutely blown away with all of your support and sweet messages. A lot of people sharing their own stories. Which is just so incredible and yeah i just feel so lucky also a lot of love for nick as well which is understandable he is the best i feel like you don't really see it in my videos because it's like my channel but there are those small moments that i sometimes capture where i'm like he's the best he's just the most supportive partner and i feel very lucky to have him as my husband yesterday was also our two year engagement anniversary which is crazy two years since we got engaged i don't know where that time has gone i feel like it was literally just yesterday i mean we are married now we planned a whole wedding and we've been married for like six months seven months so like time has passed but it really doesn't feel like, a, like i can't believe that was two years ago and now all our other friends are getting engaged and weddings and i just so excited for this next season. I love weddings. I think there's honestly nothing better. Now that I've been through my own and planned it, I feel like I have such a bigger appreciation and a deeper understanding for just how special they are. It's truly the best day of your life. And I mean, if having a wedding isn't for you, understandable. It is an investment in your time, money, and honestly mental health <laughs> it's no joke planning a wedding there's a reason there's professionals to do it for you but if you do want to go down the traditional route and have a traditional wedding i just think it's so fun and so i'm so excited for that that next season of our lives i feel like we went from 16th birthdays 18th 21st and now it's like engagement parties and weddings we were actually the first of both of our friendship group to get engaged and get married which was actually kind of fun. I feel like we had no expectations on us. We could just do whatever we wanted and we were the first ones. And I mean, maybe we'll look back after all these weddings and engagement parties and be like, oh, I wish I'd done that. Well, that was such a good idea because I feel like you learn a lot from obviously attending other people's weddings, but no regrets. Truly the best day of my life. I just can't believe it was, yeah, two years ago since we got engaged. Anyway, I am just doing my makeup and getting ready for the day. I think it's important in this season of, unemployment <laughs> to actually get out of bed and get going with my day and actually put effort into my appearance not really for like anyone else but just to get up and go do you know what i mean actually have a purpose and get myself out of bed otherwise i will literally spend all day in bed not that there's anything wrong with that i do that even when i am employed <laughs> but i think it w it's a slippery slope so i'm just trying to get up and actually get ready and have some sense of routine and normalcy so i'm doing my makeup i actually have some filming that i need to do today so i actually have to get ready today i'm filming my december monthly reset video which i'm so excited for i can't believe it's that time of the month already i was thinking about it and honestly i don't think this month's budget will really change a whole lot obviously we're going to be a little bit more conscious about our spending and not going to buck wild but the actual income is not going to change too much because i'm still working off my last pay i've just kept it in my general spending account and that last pay was like my annual leave and then i got two weeks of pay as well and that's basically like a month's worth of pay so we don't really feel the effects of me losing my job until like just after christmas which is fun. <laughs> I truly feel so lucky that this month and next month are very good months social media wise. I've been super fortunate to be able to work with some amazing brands. I have some super exciting sponsorships coming up, which I just feel so grateful for. I'm just really, really lucky to be in the position that I'm in. I'm very grateful to have all of you guys and to have this next month, no pressure, just like figure out my next move. I think it's important to take time and like reevaluate when something like this happens. Sorry, I promise I will eventually stop talking about this. This is obviously just what's like current and going on in my life. <laughs> and it's surprisingly something that a lot of people deal with. I've had so many messages and comments from you guys sharing your own stories. And it's so inspiring and so encouraging to see how well things have turned out for all of you. So I do feel really lucky. I just feel like I've had a bit of a ring around in terms of my career and my jobs over the last few years starting with me losing my job with the pandemic i was working as a travel agent which was like my favorite job i absolutely love that and that's definitely something that i'm considering is going back into the travel industry because i 
loved that so much. Yeah, I lost my job in the middle of the pandemic. I was unemployed for like a couple months and then I got a job and was working as a customer service specialist for an insurance company for 18 months, which I also enjoyed up until like the last few months. And then it just became really toxic and I had to leave. So I quit my job and this was the beginning of this year like March, just before we got married. And then got married, came back from our honeymoon, started this new job, and here we are six months later and I've lost it. So I'm just a bit over it. I just want stability. Yeah, anyway, that's enough about the job situation. Um, plan for today is to, yeah, film my December reset, um, which I'm really excited about. It feels like a long time since I filmed my last one. I just feel like a lot has happened in the last month. So I'm excited to sit down and do that, do some goal setting and budgeting and yeah, start thinking about 2023. I think I'm gonna do a whole 2023 like full reset video like I did last year, cause that was so much fun. And any other like 2023 new year videos that you guys wanna see, please let me know. Yeah, probably just spend the rest of the afternoon editing. I have some emails to reply to. I also wanna like tidy up this room. I don't know if you can see. She's a bit of a mess. So we're gonna do that as well. I also need to finish unpacking from Brisbane, which I got back like a week ago. So there's really no excuse as to why I haven't done it, but I've just been feeling a little bit sorry for myself. I'm a little bit preoccupied with life stuff. I mean, I'm like half unpacked. I just have to do a bunch of washing. So I'm gonna do that today as well. Anyway, I'm gonna finish doing my makeup and I will chat to you guys when I'm done. Okay, makeup is done. I need to do something with this hair because I just washed it and it's just doing the absolute most, but that's a problem for later. I'm now gonna brush my teeth. Recently, I've been using the Colgate Optic White Pro Series Toothpaste. Colgate are actually the sponsor of this vlog, so a huge thank you to them. I'm so excited to be working with them in today's video. I've been using their daily whitening toothpaste for the last few weeks now, and I've been absolutely loving it. I actually took it with me to Brisbane along with the <laughs> matching electric toothbrush which is really nice and very light as a little side note if you're just bringing in carry on. But yeah, I've been loving this. You guys know I'm a big coffee drinker and I feel like drinking coffee, white teeth, they don't really go hand in hand at the best of times. So this has been an absolute lifesaver, especially with Christmas coming up, a lot of big events. I don't know about you guys, but my social calendar is booked out. Feeling confident with your smile can make the biggest difference. Most whitening toothpaste only work on the surface of the teeth, but this toothpaste is different. It actually has Colgate's highest level of hydrogen peroxide in a toothpaste yet at 5%. The hydrogen peroxide, which is the whitening ingredient that dentists use, gets absorbed right into the enamel to deeply whiten stains below the surface. When you brush, you'll feel like a warming sensation. That just means Means the hydrogen peroxide is working and you guys this toothpaste removes 15 years worth of stains I don't know about you guys, but I'm only 26. <laughs> Sounds like stains from when I was 11 years old <laughs> Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and brush my teeth get these bad boys looking extra white I have a bunch of content that I want to film and I just want to feel my best, you know feel confident It does have a slight warming sensation, but nothing crazy. Just kind of feels like when you put aloe vera on your sunbed, but like in your mouth. I don't know if that makes any sense, but like that nice, comforting, warm sensation. And it tastes good, very like minty fresh. I've tried some whitening toothpaste in the past and they just taste absolutely disgusting, but this one, it's good. Again, a big thank you to Colgate for working with me on today's video. Definitely go check out their Optic White Pro Series whitening toothpaste and let me know how you guys go. I am genuinely loving it. somehow almost eight o'clock and I'm not sure where the day has gone but I have dinner in the oven I'm just having chicken burgers for dinner tonight oh look at that how my chippy is looking looking good actually Nick's just been at the cricket watching his brother so he should be on his way home 
soon. Oh, the patty's looking good. Wow, it's all coming together. I've just been catching up on my subscription box. Just finished filming my December monthly reset. It took me far too long because our neighbors are constantly fighting. It's really quite sad and also slightly annoying when you're trying to film. They're like always fighting. Guys, if you don't like each other, just get a divorce. Honestly, it's really not that hard. No, I do feel bad. They do have young children as well. So like, anyway, I shouldn't judge, but it does disturb the peace from time to time. And from time to time, I mean every single day. So that kind of delayed things a little bit, but just finished filming. I think the video turned out well. I really liked my little setup I had going on. I had the fireplace playing on the TV and then my little candle. This is our new coffee table. I don't think I've shown you guys. Got it from Temple and Webster. Just put it together this past weekend and I'm obsessed. I think it looks so good. Just imagine this in our new house because we're going to have like similar colored floors, lighter flooring than this. In our rental i think it'll look really good and i think eventually we'll get a new tv unit but for now that's fine new couch as well eventually anyway i'm gonna tidy all this up because i've made a mess what are you guys it is now wednesday me and mama just in the shop i like a gnome what do you mean christmas gnome why do you look like a gnome it's not camera <laughs> yeah we just come to the shops I'm just gonna do a bit of Christmas shopping and have a wander around. Loving the festive vibes. Festive Cute. Festive festive. Oh, festive festive. Oh, it's the last one there. It just comes with one pillowcase, okay, just pillow for me. Oh, red berry. Oh, oh it's quite nice. Smell that. Mmm. That's really That's not nice. what I expected. It's, it's very like, it's not in red. Like tray. A little plant in it, isn't it? Yeah. Like by the front door or like on a coffee table? Yeah. Actually, that's quite good because you know, with candles, you often have to put a mat underneath them because otherwise they burn your coffee table. Yeah. And heat up. People don't realise the glass starts to heat up, doesn't it? And then you can get burn marks. So that's really good for your coffee table. There you go. A little tip from Susie. <laughs> I don't have one, I just use a ghost. <laughs> I like that, that's, that's cute. That's nice. Oh. That's terrifying. <laughs> yes, I don't mind. Oh, they're everywhere. <laughs> Mr. Wingman. Oh, the tree. These are nice, actually. Mm. Like nice little push bags. Oh, you should get this for Dad. <laughs> mm. <laughs> that's yeah, the socks cute. are loud. Oh, fruit socks. Yeah, I know, they're amazing. That's so good. I don't know how they do them. I'm like, where's the socks? It's like this. Yeah. Look, how can, how can those things be? Oh my gosh, a little poke bowl. Look, a poke bowl. How can that be socks? Oh my gosh, Mum, they have bakery socks. Look at that. What's that? Bakery. Oh, bakery socks. Okay, me and Mum are now in Target. Uh, am I not inspirated? But I think that's because your blood sugar's low because you didn't eat it. You're such a muff. I know. Well, I'm I haven't sorry, had breakfast but... today, and I'm like, oh, we're uninspired. What time is it now? What time is it now? Twelve. Yeah. See, it's called break fast for a reason. Breaking your fast. Okay. And you haven't broken your fast yet. But that's not why we're uninspired. No. Well, I think it is really. a bit because you. Yeah. Well, mm. you've eaten, and you're not inspired, so. Yeah, it's because I need to eat lunch. <laughs> I think Target wins for the cutest Christmas stuff. They just nail it every year. So many cute little ornaments. This is where we got our new Christmas tree. What have we got? Vegetarian focaccia. Delicious. <laughs> you can look a little happier about just it. Just doing my hand hygiene. That's why I'm not looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm now home from the shops. It was kind of a flop, to be honest. Nothing was really taking my fancy. I mean, I was just doing Christmas shopping anyway, but I'm really struggling with presents for Nick this year. This is our fifth Christmas together. And so I feel like I've used all the go-to like guy gift ideas, cologne, sunglasses, wallet, like all of the classic things that you would buy your partner or husband or dad or whatever. I feel like I've used them all over the last five years and now I'm struggling. So if anyone has any good gift ideas for your partner or husband, please let me know. I need help. <laughs> I'm okay with like stocking stuff for kind of smaller presents. Like I'm okay with that. I can think of a million and one ideas for that, but an actual present, like a medium sized present, whatever that 
constitutes as um i really can't think of anything so yeah would love some help i'll have to do some brainstorming tonight because it's nearly christmas guys it's really getting on but yeah i just got home it's just gone past two it was really nice to hang out with my mum and just like chat and walk around if there's any good thing that's come out of me losing my job is just having this extra free time to spend with my family and my friends i went for coffee this morning with my friend kirsty as well which was really nice and yeah even though i didn't buy anything when we were in the shops it was just like nice to spend time with my mum like I would never be able to do this if I was working I'd be at work I've been busting my ass anyway I'm gonna get back to editing my December reset video I just have probably like a third of the video left to edit and I want to get it up tonight so I need to finish editing that export it compress the file upload and make the thumbnail which is a bit of a process so I'm gonna get to that now and hopefully get it up within the next few hours we'll see <laughs> 